<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I told you I didn't. Putting that stimulus money to good use, boys. Check out this new toy I just picked up today. I, I have no idea what I'm doing, I'll be honest. I just went and grabbed some stuff I think I would need to lay out a fence. So our goal is to get the metal on the back side and a little bit up the side because we're going to do a little metal fence up the side too. So we're going to say our first one is going to go about right there. This fence is going to be inside of our property line. So I'm not really worried about a survey or anything like that because I want a little bit more of our property on the other side of it. We're going to say about here. So I'm going to cut the string. But where do we want it here? We could have it pivot like any way, you know? I thought you wanted it more this way so we could stand on that side. That's tight right there. So we got our string. What I'm using this string for is I'm just going to smash this into the ground until this string is touching contact with the ground. And then every eight foot, I'm going to put a wooden stake and that where I smash that wooden stake in is exactly where I'm going to place the tip of that auger. All of these posts are going to be five foot when they're all said and done, but I'm going to make them like five and a half and then put a string level across the top and then cut them off with a torch because this ground is not level and that way I don't have to dig all my holes exactly. 11. Oh yeah, eight. Okay. It doesn't matter. It can touch the dirt. It's a cheap tape measure. No, I'm just trying to think. Those aren't 31 anymore. They cut them, but you screw them together. But you screw them together, it's going to be 31. He said they average 31, though. I don't think it matters. Let's just figure out where we're going to put the gate. Well, I'm just saying so that we don't have to like make extra cuts. We can, we can weld them. That's fine. We? By we, you mean my dad? Your dad can weld them. It's fine. Oh, by the way, we're making a gate because even though that's not our property. We still use it. So we'll just keep that a secret. Then we can just measure off eight foot to here. And that'll be our first post. Then if we want the gate yeah, that's fine. like eight foot wide, we can just put another eight foot post. Yep. Let's go to the next, next one. All right, so we got all of our lines stretched out, starting at the metal post. And then we have our wooden stakes about every eight foot because the dimensions that we're working with here don't allow for an exact eight foot, but they're about seven and a half. And that goes down the whole way there, all the way over there. All right, are you really gonna drill the first hole? All right, so what you're going to do, put this thing on choke, pull it two times yeah. and turn, you got to turn this on run. But I think as long as this thing isn't, you're not holding this, I don't think it'll spin. Ho hopefully. Again? Yeah. Twice? Yeah. <laughs> and then go to, okay. it says because it's new, you have to break it in and do that. Okay. And then prime this thing. All right. And it's not supposed to spin. It's Turn not it supposed to spin. Go ahead. There. Yeah, it's not spinning. It won't spin unless you push that. Okay. okay. Where's the hole? Right there? Yeah, that one. <laughs> try, try to keep it straight, right? Keep it what? Keep it like vertical pl uh, straight. I think you are, but I'm just saying. It's like Is it not moving? No, it pull it out. You want me to try it?
Yeah, two foot. So we'll go we'll go to this line right here. That should be good. Two foot. I hope I hope so. It says it has like a like a two hour break-in period, so it's gonna stall out a lot, like it did. Is that what's going on? I was just yeah. But after that, it should be like good to go. Twenty-four inches. I thought it'd be easier. Still a good workout. Pull it out. Yeah, I think it helps. <laughs> you said we can get it out. There you go. Uh, knock that junk off of it. That's it right there. Is it a root? Was it a root? <laughs> you can't do it. I'm wondering what you do it. It's like clay, right? I think you're hitting a root. We're gonna hit a root right there for sure. I don't know, it might be a root there. Quick update for you guys on what we got going on here. We have three more posts to dig for, or drill for rather, I don't know what you'd call it. But these last three have been easy. I did this one in under two minutes, same thing with this one and that one. These over here where it's closer to the water are harder to dig through, which I thought they'd be easier because they're more wet, but they're actually, it just makes it more muddy and it just makes it where you're just, the bit just can't throw that mud off it. It's sticking to it. So these over here um, took the longest and the most effort. And we're definitely gonna have to put a vapor barrier in there, probably just a trash bag or something. That's all I can think of. It's all I got on hand to um, make it where our concrete can set one of the contractor trash bags. So that's what we're doing. I'll show you guys how quick I can drill through this next one, although it's right next to a tree and I'll, I might just hit a root. So you can see when I drill that thing, it just throws all the excess dirt up through the bit. And then what I learned is instead of just pulling it out, you can just stop and just kick this stuff out of the way. 
because if you just pull it out, a lot of that stuff likes to cave back in there. And we're at 24 feet, I mean 24 inches, two feet. So the reason I decided to buy one of these is because any excuse to buy a tool, I'm gonna make that justified. So I justified it. But the real reason is Home Depot rents these things for like $110 a day. And I knew I was gonna need it longer than a day. But once you go over a day, they don't have a two day, you go to a week and that's 400 bucks. I paid 250 for this thing and now it's mine. If I need to dig a hole for something to plant a tree or just doing some kind of landscaping stuff, now I have this thing and like I said, anytime there's a reason, find a way to justify it. Your wife will get over it and she'll eventually understand when, when you plant a tree for her. So, ain't that right? <laughs> How long does the pole need to be? The it post? Be, we're going to do five foot fencing plus two foot in ground, so seven. Seven foot. Yep. And they're roughly 16, so we need to mark them. Get started. So the next thing we have to do is cut our poles down to size, our post. And anytime you have a post um, height figured out, you want the hole to be at least one third of that height. I would like to say I already knew that, but I just read it on the back of the concrete bag. Now, as far as how long I'm gonna cut these poles to, I'm gonna cut them roughly just to eight foot, which is gonna be a lot left over on the top, but I'm gonna come back with a torch and a level line and just cut them all level. So it's it'll be all five foot. And the reason I'm doing that is because these are about 15 and a half, 16 foot. Just, I'll just cut them to eight and if I cut them all to seven, I would just have a bunch of scraps anyways. So we'll just cut these in half basically, and some will be staggered higher than others. But like I said, I'm gonna torch them off at the end. They're approximately the same, all of them. 186 inches, so just under 16 foot. Yeah, we're, we're good to go here. This is the shorter post too. We're gonna cut these to 60, and you can see right there, we've got about 67 and a half. So we're good to set this post. We may be making a mistake here because it's supposed to rain, and this is not to use it if it's gonna rain in 24 hours. But the weather guy is like the one guy who is always wrong and still keeps his job. So he's failed me multiple times, and I'm not gonna trust him this time. So we're gonna fill up two gallons. No, three gallons, right. Wouldn't it be? Four quarts in each gallon. And we need 12 quarts. Four times three. No, we only need, yeah, two. We just need to fill that up four times. But that can use it to like pick it up for where it is. Yeah. No, you don't need to do that. Because that crate is not that deep. Yeah, I can, look. Here. Right here, look. Pour it where I'm mixing it, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I told you I didn't. No, it's good. It'll come off easy. Concrete comes off easy. Okay. It does. Serious? It does, for real. The concrete should, when you grab it. With your rubber glove? <laughs> when you grab it, it should hold its shape in your hand. I just saw that on a YouTube video. So this is perfect. So we, we watched the video because this doesn't look right, but it's right. It just doesn't look right. It looks like, I, I feel like it should be more wet, but apparently that makes it lose its strength. So we're gonna go with this. Is that about six inches? Yes. One more scoop. Why do you ask? <laughs> <laughs> Try to get that centered. That looks centered. All right, hold it. I'll fill in around it.
and check it this way too, because it could be tilted other ways. Change of plans, since this is so close to the water, like three and a half feet, we're gonna make this post about a foot deeper. And we can do that because our other um, pole is like eight foot. <laughs> Did you get more? A lot more, look. Oh yeah, that goes deep. So for this one, so I don't cut a hole in our bag, I'm just gonna try to finesse it in there. Yeah, because if it falls on the side, it'll be kind of pointless. There we go. All right, I think we're good. Hopefully this one holds. This is the only one we're worried about. I don't know if that trash bag trick is gonna work, but it, it's our only option. But I think it's gonna work. We dumped the rest of this. We actually dug a little trench out here to relieve the water and send it this way. And we, we had a lot extra, it worked out. And then we just dumped it in, filled in the trench and just spread it out evenly. But we're good there. I think we're gonna end it there, guys. We got these two posts right where we want them. Now we can, after these cure, hopefully it doesn't rain, we can tie a string around them, one to another, and then we'll be good to set our middle post. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know this isn't finished carpentry, but I enjoy making these videos. So let me know if you like these kind of videos that are outside of the carpentry realm and I'll keep making them.